Hotel. Hello there. How are you? All right. Yeah, fine, thanks. Thank you for coming along. Now, can you tell us a bit about this band? I uh, sort of whizzing through the records today, came across yours and thought, hmm, quite like that. How long have you been together? Been together about three and a half years now. Yeah. Started uh, May 1978. Yeah. You're, you're based in St Albans, aren't you? That's right. Yeah, we're all from St Albans, yeah. And uh, have you been found trouble when you started off about two years ago? I always ask people this because I know what it's like getting gigs and so forth. Was it a bit of a hassle trying to get gigs around here when you first started off? Um, well, we're a bit lucky really because we we sort of played the the pubs to start with, you know. Yeah. How do you find it in pubs? You know, because you're quite a sort of heavy band, aren't you? A bit. May I say a bit deep purple? Is that okay? <laughs> Is that all right? Like that. Well, yeah. yeah. Uh, well, we found that a few years ago, like a couple of years ago, there were a lot more pubs that were doing bands. Yeah. Um, yeah. So like we could play four or five different pubs within the area and we found that we were playing quite regularly but mm. nowadays we've noticed especially when we play we still play a lot you know some of the pubs mm. um, but we found that there aren't as many that are doing it do you find that people when you're actually playing in a pub do you find that people actually go there to listen or do they just go there to drink and maybe a band's on and maybe they listen and maybe they won't well, what sort of reaction do you get well most of the pubs we play you know i mean you find that you can go one evening and if a specific band is on then um you know, you get the people that come along to see them. I mean, yeah. we're, we're still down at the Hall of Plenty in St Albans, and uh, it's full of people that come along specifically to see yeah. us. It's a pub that specifically has um, a stage in that that's set up for bands. You don't get people that go into that part of the pub to sit and drink. You know? yeah. So they do come for the live music. Could I just whiz I'm not telling you these two geezers, are I? <laughs> uh, the one you just heard then is uh, Roger Taylor, isn't it? No, it's Rick. Rick Taylor. <laughs> Try again, hold these on phone tonight. Rick Taylor, that's what I meant. I'm just testing to see if he's still with us, you know. Another guy is Stevie T. Over to Stevie T, you know. Um, what was I going to ask you then? We were just talking about bands and so forth, weren't we? Mm -hmm. Yeah, this, I played this record this afternoon and I thought it was a new record, but apparently it's not. It's been out for quite a while, hasn't it, this album? The album itself has only been out a couple of months. Hey, did you know Rick? Come on. <laughs> Sorry, you didn't give me go away. <laughs> yes, yeah, it's been out a couple of months. The, yeah. uh, three of the tracks on there were recorded in 79. Yeah. So a little bit dated now, but the rest of the tracks were recorded um, about May of this year. Yeah. Do you did you find it very hard trying to get somebody to say, okay, yes, well I'll give you the money for the album and I'll, I'll you know put my money <laughs> in you? Was it a problem? That it was a bit of a problem. Yeah. <laughs> how did you actually come about solving it at the end of the day? Um. Well, we we originally phoned up Banana Records, which is the yeah uh, albums on. And we sent, we sent them a copy of the demo tape, mm. which they liked, and we went along and worked out a deal with them, which was pretty lucky, really. Oh, um, we, we, we didn't really try anywhere before then at all, you know. Yeah, talking about cash and Reddit, or Ackers, as Bill Young would refer to them, <laughs> do you actually do this professionally, or are you sort of semi pro at the moment? No, we don't make any money from gigs. Um, yeah. I mean, we've done some big gigs recently, and believe it or not, we've lost, we've actually lost money from big gigs. Yeah, this is a problem, isn't it? Um, I've heard a lot of bands say this, that they actually mm. are almost paying to play, is that right? Um, well, it's our fault, really, that, because um, when we do the big gigs, we put on a show, we hire a lot yeah. more equipment and mm. some pyrotechnics and such, which we use, so in that respect, we do actually lose money, because we spend money we haven't got <laughs> <laughs> on the show. Not a very wise thing to do, that really, is it, on the whole? No, yeah. but... Uh, i tell you what we'll do. Anyway. Should we listen to what all this is made of? We're going to play the first track, which is Play to Win. Who wrote this one? I'll just have a look at the album. Excuse me a moment. Our pal, our yeah, pal isn't is, with us tonight, no, is this he? Is, uh, you shouldn't call him our pal. This is Rocket Roy, actually. Oh, um, thank you, he's, pardon. He's, uh, yes. Steps back in amazement. Rocket he, Roy. Yes, he's at home, um, yeah. he's at home writing new material for the... Um, next platter that we haven't thought about yet but uh, I, see. I suppose this is now listening to us hopefully. I saw a picture of Rocket Roy actually on the album sleeve he comes along with quite a lot of uh, pickies doesn't it bits and pieces mm. Rocket Roy's the guy with the um, he's got leather pants hasn't he yeah. <laughs> yes I know he's Rocket Roy the legendary wristband the legendary wristband that's, that's the one yeah. ok let's have a track from it this is called Play to Win it's by Cleon Tell <laughs> Star, I've arrived at last. Phil, bit pretty impressive, that don't you think? I've not got them on mic. You can't hear the rude, rude, <laughs> rude comments I'm making. Not bad, eh? Right, we're talking to Cleontel from St Albans. Um, can I just ask you something? Is, is sort of, can I say heavy metal? Is, is that okay? No, no, I didn't think I could. People get very touchy about this. How would you describe your music? Well, it's sort of like good time rock and roll, really. We're sort of trying to. Um, we don't sort of go right into the really heavy metal stuff. Although we are a lot heavier when we play live, I suppose, and yeah. as you hear on the record. 
Yeah, the, the reason I ask you actually, uh, and I say heavy metal, or oh, good time rock and roll, you described it yourself, is that we had a couple of guys in last night uh, who do a magazine called The Other Side, and there's a, there's a school of thought knocking around at the moment that bands like Rainbow and uh, Motorhead and so forth have had the date and they're on the way out. And there's a term of disparagement going around called, uh, the what is it they call it? <laughs> Rockist. That's what they call it. <laughs> Yeah, in, in view of that, do you think there's much of a future the kind of music you're playing? Well, yeah, because we found that we're appealing to quite a wide range of audience, really. So, yeah. you know, we're not dating ourselves at some point. Although uh, that's what they said in '72, I suppose, really. Yeah. It was all going out. It keeps coming back occasionally. It seems to be coming and going, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. White Snake are doing all right, aren't they? Well, yeah. they're not doing bad. Yeah. What do you think, Steve? Do you think you're sort of getting over to people? Yeah, I think. Uh, you yeah, know, the problem is we've been put into a sort of corner and labelled heavy metal. Mainly because of the sort of crowd we pull, you know. Yeah. Which well, I don't really sort of dislike, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I've got to say that. <laughs> They're big guys, you know. <laughs> yeah, you've got to be careful, haven't you? you don't want to offend anybody. And oh, I never do. You've heard my program, I don't offend anybody. Uh, right, moving swiftly on. I mentioned before, um, and you're probably listening next door, about the fact that we get all these tapes from people and very few people bother to do anything about publicity and so forth. If you, if you are a local band and you're sort of playing semi-pro, it really is important, isn't it, to get yourself known? Mm. Well, yeah, we yeah. do absolutely everything we can think of. I mean, big gigs that happen to be distant is the way we put a coach on quite a lot. Um, a brilliant idea, that. We've got a Christmas gig coming up, actually. He says, plug, plug. Up at, uh, oh, plug away. It's what a, place in, uh, yeah. a place in Hitching called the Regal um, Cinema, which has just been modified. Yeah. Uh, we're playing there on Wednesday the 16th, where we'll be putting on a big show, hopefully. Yeah. And uh, we'll have a coach coming up from St Albans that will stop off in Luton and Harpin and pick the people up, you know. Excellent. And, um, you know, so we do all sorts of things like that. We've had t-shirts yeah. and patches and badges done. So it's, it's basically just common sense, isn't it? If you can get a few t-shirts together and so mm. forth, you might as well, yeah. Talking of t-shirts, smooth me, aren't they? So <laughs> we can way around this t-shirt. <laughs> yeah, they've got some t-shirts on. Steve's got one at the moment. Very flashy it looks too. Terribly smooth. Nice. I'm going to give one away to the first person who can, and the question, gentlemen, please, is um, the first person to name the monthly newsletter that comes out by clientele. Okay, that's what you're going to do. If you want to have a clientele t-shirt, and they are quite flash actually, uh, let's know, let us know on a postcard to Children Radio what is the name of the monthly uh, news magazine, is that the right mm, newsletter? Yeah, yeah. Well, that they've put out by the band, okay? And if you know the name of that, you'll get yourself a t-shirt, which can't be bad. Right, let's play another track of this here album, and it's called uh, Nice Girl. Who wrote this one? Well, this was written by Roy. It's an interesting track on the album from the point of view that we almost did it live in the studio. Yeah. Um, we didn't have a great deal of time left to tell you just the fact that we had to pay for it ourselves <laughs> and uh, <laughs> we did we literally did the whole backing track and lead track all at once and the vocals in one take almost as well so it's literally the most live thing on there okay let's have a listen to it thank you very much indeed for coming along tonight thank thank you much much. okay this is a uh, clientele and last one for them up to the news a snatch of it two minutes of it and this is nice girl <laughs> 